uh, we're going to talk about eventually perfect failure detector. Um, this is the implementation. So we are the instance is called diamond P. It has two events, a suspect event and a restore event. So a suspect event is triggered when a process is suspected to have failed. This is suspect. And a restore event is triggered when the failure detector, the diamond P failure detector, made a wrong decision about a certain process. The two properties we have is strong completeness, of course, and the other one is eventual strong accuracy. So, eventual strong accuracy. So, eventually no node will be suspected by any correct process. If we look at the implementation of an eventual failure detector, so we assume a partially synchronous system, so there are bounds exist in the system and each node every gamma time unit will send a heartbeat and each node will wait a t time unit and if it did not get a heartbeat from a process say pi during this period t it will suspect p if P is not already in a set of suspected processes. If, on the other hand, it gets again a heartbeat from P and P is in the suspected list, then it will remove P from the suspected list, but it will also increase the timeout. So this is the algorithm. So let's look to the correctness now. The correctness is again, uh, strong completeness is as before, because if it does not get heartbeat from a process, it will suspect the process and if the process has crashed, so it will continue suspecting the process. Um, now let us look to eventual strong accuracy. So each time a process is in P, in this case, is inaccurately suspected by another correct process, Q, Q will increase its time out, T. Eventually, the system becomes synchronous. And eventually also, this T becomes larger than an unknown bound of this partially synchronous system. After that, when T becomes larger, Q will always receive heartbeats from correct processes on time and never suspect P again. 